Hello everyone, welcome back. And today we are looking at question 566, which is reshape the matrix. So we are given an M by N matrix, it's called MAT, and two integers R and C, which corresponds to the number of rows and the number of columns in the new reshaped matrix. And this new reshaped matrix should be filled with all the elements of the original matrix in the same row traversing order. Okay, and they are telling us if it's impossible to create a new matrix with the given rows and columns, just return the original matrix. So looking at example one, we see that the given matrix, it's one, two, three, four. Here we can see it. We have two rows and each row has two columns. And now they want us to reshape this matrix using only one row and four columns. So as we can see, the output is one, two, three, four. We only have one row and this row has four columns. Now example two, they are giving us the same uh, matrix, one, two, three, four, but now they want us to use two rows and four columns. Now we can't do that, so the output should be the same original matrix. Now why we can do that? Let's go to the blackboard and explain exactly when we can do it and when we cannot do it. Okay, so here we are and I have drawn a new uh, matrix, it's called MAT, the same as the question, and this matrix will hold 10, 12, 9, and 8. Now, I have drawn two possibilities here. I want to reshape this matrix as containing one row and four columns, like the example, but I also want to try to do it with one row and five columns. So let's see when we can do it and when we cannot do it. Now, in this MAT matrix, the MAT.length represents the number of rows, and we have two rows. Now when we say mat of zero dot length, we go to mat, mat of zero is this, and now mat of zero dot length, we see that we have two, which represents the number of columns, so the number of columns are two. So how many elements this mat matrix can hold? We can multiply the number of rows by the number of columns, and we can see that two times two equals four elements. This 2D array can hold 4 elements, and indeed it holds 10, 12, 9, and 8. Now, when we say we want to create a new reshaped matrix with only 1 row and 4 columns, how many elements can this array hold? Where we say we multiply the number of rows with the number of columns, 1 times 4, which equals 4. This array can hold 4 numbers. So, can we do that? Yes, we can. This 2D array can hold 4 numbers, and this reshaped array can also hold four numbers so we can do that and indeed this will hold 10 12 9 and 8 okay so what is the row times the column we said 1 times 4 equals 4 now let's look into this we said we want to have one row and five columns how many elements can this array hold well 1 times 5 equals 5 we see that this array can hold five elements but our original array can only hold four. So we cannot do that. So the only way we can have a reshaped matrix from the original matrix, if the number of rows times the number of columns of the original matrix is the same as the number of rows times the number of columns of the new reshaped array. In simple terms, both arrays must hold the same amount of numbers. Okay, so let's go to lead code and write this um, condition right from the start. Okay, so as we can see, if the number of rows times the number of columns does not equal this original matrix dot length indicating the number of rows times the matrix sub zero dot length indicating the number of columns, we should return the original matrix as indicated by the question. The only way we can make a new reshaped matrix if the two matrices hold the same number of elements or in other words the row times the column of the original equals the row times the column of the new reshaped matrix so let's get back to the blackboard and continue okay so once we reach this step we know that we can reshape the matrix now i want to give you an important piece of information that i want you to keep um, on a piece of paper or somewhere safe because you will need it and it will be so helpful in 2D arrays uh, manipulation questions, 2D array 
um, reshaping questions, etc. So I have brought the same matrix that holds 10, 12, 9, and 8, and we want to reshape this matrix as a new array with only one row and four columns. And I will call this new array results. It will hold only one row and four columns. Let's look at this matrix. It holds 10, 12, 9, and 8. I want you to imagine that the 10 is at index 0, the 12 is at index 1, and 9 at index 2, and 8 at index 3. But instead of writing it in a 2D way, we want to write it into one um, D array. And let's have it right here. 0, 1, 2, 3. And these are indices. This is index, this is index i. So here is i equals 0, i equals 1, i equals 2, i equals 3. And now each index corresponds to the number in the 2D array. So at index 0, we had 10. At index 1, we have 12. At index 2, we have 9. And at index 3, we have 8, as we can see in the picture here. Now, if you are given an index i, the element that corresponds to index i can be found in the following way. This is important. The row that we can find that element that corresponds to index i as the following equation. We take that index and we divide it by the number of columns. Now, if you want to find the column that this element is in, we will take the index i that corresponds to that element and apply the modulo by the number of columns. Okay, so let's see how this works for both the original matrix and the new reshape matrix. So let's assume that I give you index 2. We know that index 2 corresponds to 9. As we can see, it corresponds to 9. And now we said that the row equals the index divided by the number of columns. So i is 2 and we want to divide by the number of columns. The original matrix had two columns, so we will divide 2 by 2, and this will equal 1, okay? Now the column we said that it is the index, which is 2, modulo the number of columns, which is 2. What is 2 mod 2? It's 0. So the element that corresponds to index 2 can be found at row 1 column 0. Let's go to the original matrix and check 1 0. Here is the first row and it here is index 0 and indeed we can find 9. So now let's see where this element goes into the new reshaped matrix. Okay we said that the index is 2, here is 2 and we want to divide by the number of columns. We have four columns in the new reshaped array so 2 divide by 4 and this will equals 1 half however this is integer division so we will take the decimal point and omit it and we will be left with 0 so 2 divided by 4 is 0 okay so now let's check the column we set the index is 2 and modulo what is the number of columns it's 4 what is 2 mod 4 2 mod 4 is 2 so we can find this number into the row 0 and column 2. Okay, so let's check in the result array. So here is row 0, which is only one row, and column 2, so we have 0, 1, 2, 9 should be here. Okay, and now let's do just one more. Let's say we want to find the 10. We know that 10 corresponds to index 0. Okay, so here is index 0. And let's see, what is 0 divided by 2? It's 0. What is 0 mod 2? It's also 0. Now we will find the 10 in 0, 0. Let's go to the original matrix and indeed we find 10 in 0, 0. Now let's look at the result new reshaped matrix. What is 0 divided by 4? It's 0. What is 0 mod 4? It's also 0. So we will also find 10 in 0, 0 in the result array. So here is 10. By the same logic, if you apply this idea to the other elements, you will also have 12 here and you will have 8 here. Okay, so we will have the following. Let me explain. Result corresponds to the new reshaped matrix and mat corresponds to the original matrix. And now we said i is the index that corresponds to a number. Now, what is the position of that number? In which row and column can we find it? Well, we had two equations for that. And we said to find the row 
of the element that corresponds to i, we take i and divide by the total number of columns. And to find the column, we will take the index i with the modulo with the total number of columns. Okay, so now we know where to find the element into the original matrix. But where can we find this element in the new reshaped matrix by the same idea? We will take index i and divide by the total number of columns in the new result matrix. And now we will take the index i, take the modulo with the total number of columns again in the new resulted matrix. So let's go to lead code and put this in. Okay, so I have created a 2D array called result to match the blackboard. And this new 2D array will have R rows and C columns. And now we will have a for loop and the index i will go from zero all the way to i less than rows times column. Why is that? Well, if we have two rows and two columns, we will have four elements and we want i to go from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3. So the for loop will be for int i equals 0, i is less than r times c, i plus plus. And now to match the blackboard, we said result of i divided by c to find the row and i module c to find the column will equal the original matrix of i divided by mat of 0 dot length to find the row and i modulo mat of 0 dot length to find the column and at the end return this new shaped matrix so let's run the code and let's submit okay as we can see faster than 100 percent so let's look at the time and space complexity okay so starting with the space complexity we created a new 2d array and that has r rows and c columns so the space complexity would be big o of r times c since we will have r times c elements now in terms of the time complexity we said we had um, index i and i looped through all the elements in the array and if we have r rows and c columns we will have also r times c elements so both of them is big o of r times c where r is the number of rows and c is the number of columns I hope you guys enjoyed the video, best of luck to you and see you in the next one.